Getting off to a flying start is the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? This is EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Croatia against Italy. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Mateo Kovacic plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international Andrej Kramaric. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. On a player you simply cannot take your eyes off, midfield strategist Luka Modric. Stuart, what sort of display do you think we'll see from Modric as far as this game is concerned? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Italy, the defending champions, up against Spain, Albania and Croatia in Group B. It was slightly against the head when you think about what happened last time out at the Euros, because Italy, of course, had been going through a bad patch. But you almost have to take them seriously every time, don't you? You do, because Italy didn't have a particularly good side under Mancini, but he made them tick, and another manager, Spalletti, could do that all over again. But if you look at their players from 1 to 11, I don't think they're quite good enough to get that far in the tournament. Probably good enough to get out the group, but they won't go all the way, that's for sure. And passing it through. And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Davide Fratesi. Jorginho. Can he do it? Magnificent defending. Bonna Sosa. Now Brozovic, Lovro Maia, another perfect position to read it. Pellegrini. Has the strength to hang on to it. Ball back with Italy now. Modric. Now Brozovic. Modric. Couldn't hang on to it. Fratesi. And plenty of room in the wide area. And it's played into the centre. Chiesa Di Lorenzo now with Jorginho 
He read the situation defensively and did his job. And there it is, the half-time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. He's found a pocket of space and there's the feed into the box. And problem solved for now. Jorginho the ball with Chiesa well, made it look routine but read it well now do they mean business on this occasion well, didn't go to plan in the end Stanisic on the ball, Mayer. Can he get the level? Oh, good save. It's a short corner. Now, who can he pick out? Splendid defending. Di Marco. What can they do from here? Oh, could be. And he read it really well. Fine save. Now sending it in. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Bon Sosa. Well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Mateo Kovacic. Gvardiol. Josip Shutalo. Here's Kovacic. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Mateo Kovacic. Not the pass he had in mind. Pellegrini. And over the touchline for what will be an Italy throw. And time for the change now. Really good wide play. Chiesa. And quick thinking defensively. Andrei Kramaric. Perisic. 
Kramaric. And the referee blows for a foul. And time for the change now. Oh, a very disappointing strike. Well, it's not good technique, is it? That's a real waste. Brian Tristante. Oh, what an opportunity. And it's there for him. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, they made this look so easy, didn't they? But as you can see, the defending is really poor. Where were they? Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Clean challenge. And can they exploit the space out wide? Superb stop. Clears it away. Vida on to Petkovic Vida has it and he might be through here and there goes the final whistle it's a victory for Italy Stuarts what have you made of their performance well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.